and welcome to Midnight 51 of the Sweet Lavender Knits podcast. My name is Christine and I'm coming to you from just outside of Toronto, Ontario in Canada. Welcome, if you are new, and welcome back to those that are returning. It is December the 13th today and I can't believe we are so close to the end of the year already. Uh, this year has definitely been eventful um, in a sense, but also uneventful in the fact that we didn't really get to do a lot of the stuff going out and about and all that. Uh, but yet, um, here we are, the last month of the year and the last few weeks of the year. I hope you've had a good uh, couple of weeks, maybe three weeks since my last um, recording. I hope all of you have been keeping well, have been keeping safe. And um, I know here we went into different parts of uh, Toronto or Greater Toronto, as we call it, GTA. Uh, we've been into lockdown and um, it is unfortunately just, um, yeah, we don't, we don't know when, when it's going to get better. Uh, but, uh, and I'm sure all of you have heard in the news already that Canada has approved the vaccine. So, uh, there is, um, there is something to look forward to, I guess. Um, I have to say it has been a couple of cold days, uh, but I've, uh, really made use of the weekends and try to get out for a walk, which I have never done in a winter before. Um, I've always shied away from the cold, but now being indoors, I look outside and I like the snow and it, it just looks inviting and, you know, um, especially when it's a little sunny, I don't mind, uh, just wrapping up in a couple of layers, maybe three or four sometimes, and uh, heading out with Charlie for a walk, and I really do enjoy that. I hope you are finding pleasures in the little things and silver linings all around. They, they are there, you just have to look for it if you're finding it hard, and it is totally understandable at this time. Um, you can find me on social media. On Instagram as sweet underscore lavender one and on Ravelry as sweet lavender one. Uh, we also have a group on Ravelry called the Sweet Lavender Knits group. So come on by, check it out. Especially uh, now we have a cal going. I'll tell you in a little bit about that in just a bit. Um, so yes, come out and check it out and do join in. And if you're up to it, introduce yourself in the welcome thread. I have a few things to share with you today. I have some finished objects. Yes, I did say objects. I have uh, works in progress that are actually a work in progress that is also one of my uh, old projects that would be part of Free My Needle segment. And uh, I have acquisitions, a few acquisitions to share with you. And these are all really, really things uh, that are very dear to my heart and I would like to share that with you. So why don't you grab your needles, your favorite project, something nice to drink and let's get started. So first off, I want to say a very big thank you for all your lovely comments and uh, for those of you who were so kind to leave me a comment and to uh, give me a like on my video, uh, those do help me to get the, my videos seen uh, or uh, you know, YouTube will put it out for others who are looking for something similar. So uh, do continue doing that. I do really f appreciate it. Uh, so thank you for that. And um, I'm, I guess I'm moving into what's on the calendar. Uh, we have a cal going on right now, a knit along. I would say knit along, crochet along, make along, and it's for a sock. And I just called it the Sweet Lavender Knits uh, Sock Along. And uh, so come on by, check it out. Um, it, I have the details on the Ravelry group, but if you're not able to go on Ravelry, basically it is that you knit a sock at least, one sock. And if you're able to knit a pair, it counts as one entry. Um, and you can hashtag it on Instagram. I will put it up on the screen. And uh, yes, so come uh, knit as many pairs as you would like to, knit as many 
single socks as you would like to. Uh, it goes on until the end of January, January 31st, 2021. And I thought I would take it beyond the um, December season just because everyone's so busy with doing their um, gift knitting maybe at the end or rushing to get projects off the needle or working through your advent um, knitting or crocheting. So just to give you a chance to join in and uh, have that time for those that are working through their first sock. I know many of you have said you would like to knit socks but haven't you know, um, picked up the courage to or just had a bad experience or not known um, how exactly to go about it. So yeah, uh, all are invited. So please do come by. And thank you, thank you to Dawn of Dawn's Days, uh, my, my new friend, <laughs> both on Instagram and in YouTube. She has a lovely podcast. She's such a cheerful person and uh, she's a very busy mom and uh, she just, uh, she's doing Vlogmas, so go by and check her out as well. And of course, Ellie from Craft House Magic, who is also doing Vlogmas and I am enjoying some of their vlogmas. I'm trying to keep up, but it, it's a little, uh, there are so many to watch really, but, and, and what I do is I kind of marathon, watch through a couple of them or a week of them for one person, and then I go on to the next one and do that. Uh, that way I can sort of keep up with um, all the different things that they're doing. And it's, it's always nice to support somebody else. And this way you get a little bit of, um, how do you say, like a mojo to, or yeah, it's like you get inspired to do different crafts and different things, especially not just around the season, but you know, things even, I, I think uh, the hardest few months are like January and February, uh, not crafting wise, but like uh, just feeling drained. Um, so yeah, some of the things I'm really just sort of banking it for that time because I do need, I, I do need a pick me up around January and February. So yes, uh, go by and check out their Vlogmas. Um, and uh, also another one I really am enjoying. Actually, the, now there are so many of them, but I'll mention a few. Uh, Coco and Flora, Eva has, uh, and hers is, very inspirational really because I love, I love to do patchwork and she does a lot of it. I, l I say I love to do but I haven't really gotten around to doing. I love to watch for sure at this point I love to watch and uh, she makes uh, sewing look so easy. She, she's a bag maker, she's got a Etsy shop and I wish I was in the UK or just not having to pay so much for shipping I would definitely be shopping from a lot of, a lot of um, people that I, I um, watch on YouTube or um, you know interact with on Instagram. Unfortunately, sometimes the shipping is what kills me and uh, you don't have to think twice. But uh, yes, and then one that I have to watch because I love her singing. She's been singing a parody of a Christmas uh, or Chris, I would say a festive song uh, every day, and that is Leslie from Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast, and she's doing Vlogmas, and uh, I definitely enjoy that. So yes, those are some of the things I have been enjoying over the past few weeks, and it's uh, work-wise, it's just busy, but uh, we all are busy with work, I guess, uh, but I am still, uh, still happy, still uh, grateful and enjoying my time to be able to work from home. I, as you can see, I'm in a new setting and what I've done is I've moved my desk a little bit in this room. We're in the same room and I've just set up a, a chair here that I can sit down and knit during my breaks or just take a little break and have some uh, light come in and enjoy that. So I put up this little setting here. It's got fairy lights that I don't think it's showing up well on the screen. Uh, but what you can see hanging on there are these crocheted uh, snowflakes that I did last year. It's a lovely pattern by my friend uh, Perlin 
uh, Perlin Jacob. Um, she, she does some vlogs as well as a podcast once in a while. And she has a blog with patterns on it. And I forgot what this snowflake pattern is called. Um, I'll put it up on the screen because I did that last year. And just to remove one of these so I can show you. Um, and I just found them today. So don't mind that they are a little yellowed. I have to wash them out and, and I'm thinking that I should do a few more because it's a lovely pattern and they're for free. Um, thank you for the pattern, Perlin. And this is what I crocheted. So I made, a, I thought I made 12 of them, but I can only find one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think there should be a few more somewhere but yeah it's a lovely pattern and what i used for uh and what i used for them now this is going to blow out is it's called penguin uh and it is some cotton it's it says it's 100 percent cotton and uh it's probably in french so i'll just show that to you and uh this is some um yarn or cotton thread uh, crocheting thread it is uh, that one of my friends gave me and uh, she said she had some leftover and so when I told her I was looking for something like that to make um, these snowflake with so she gave me this and it says I'm trying to read what it is it's just 100% cotton doesn't have any other details on it but it, it really worked out well for these snowflakes but she also gave me this other glittery yarn, or I don't know if you call it yarn, but thread. And this is Gyps Annie. I'll just show it to you. And this has, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a little bit of glitter on it. Whoops, there. Can you see that? It's iris iridescent. And it is 65% uh, viscose and 35% polyester. I'm thinking I should um, do a few, maybe hold this double and do a few of the snowflake in this. And that might be something I would like to do this year. So I'll show you that. So um, the other thing that you did see in my intro uh, was uh, a little bowl that I have here. Uh, I've been very, very fortunate to have swapped uh, Advent Minis with uh, two of my viewers and friends. Uh, and I have been opening one of these every day. I was trying to keep up with it on Instagram, but it was just a little too too much for me just because I was oh I, I was usually opening them at the end of the night and I was trying to like wrap them up into these yarn balls uh, because I got them in the uh, unicorn tails like that and um, yeah and, and I could I just couldn't keep up with it but I'll show it to you it's a lovely bowl of minis I've been putting together and these these are the from the first 12 days today is the 13th so I get to open the one that I've just picked. So let me go get that and open it with you. My uh, Advent Mini Swap Partners were Karen, who's Cottage Keeper on Instagram, and Debbie, who's Ivy Norman on uh, Ravelry. Uh, thank you both for your lovely, lovely Advent Minis uh, and uh, just the packaging as well as all the other extra goodies that I got. I've been totally, totally spoiled. Uh, I received Christmas yarn from both of them that I am now keeping to open for Christmas and I will share that with you the next time. But today's mini and these little red ones are from uh, Debbie. The ones that I have opened are from Karen. So let me just open this one with you today. Oh, nice. Look at that. That is really nice. That is really nice. So I'm gonna add it. Oh, and 
it comes <laughs> bald already, so it makes it easier. There we go. Um, that is really nice. It brightens it up. And I love the pastels. So thank you both very much. Very, very much. Today is not too, too cold. And I've been doing a couple of things before I sat down for the podcast. So instead of tea, I opted for just water. And it's in my lovely Merry Everything and Happy Always mug. All right, moving on to finished objects. So like I said, I have two pair, two finished objects and they're both socks. And so now my Christmas knitting is complete. <laughs> this one is a pair of socks that I knit for my uh, youngest. I have to talk a little softer because they can hear me. Um, the yarn is the Robin colorway from West Yorkshire Spinners and uh, the contrast heels, toes and cuff is just some yarn that I had. I don't know what the brand is. I think it's um, Lion brand maybe, but it's called Wool Ease and uh, I just had some of it left over that I will um, show you in just a little bit about something else uh, with this yarn. So it has it's a very nice like a berry red, not a not a fire engine red, but a berry red which I liked and oops and uh, I thought it went very well with this. So like I was ta saying the last time, uh, what I did is I couldn't match the stripes up uh, perfectly or, you know, I didn't mind that they were a little off, but I was trying to get at least a little symmetry in them. So what I did is I matched the red uh, stripes um, in both the socks. I did an afterthought heel uh, because it was a a uh, sock tube so I did an afterthought heel and uh, toes and of course um, the sock tube had the cuffs on it at both ends so yes that's first sock pair number one and I think uh, I heard Leslie say on her podcast uh, on her vlog um, that if you do something three times, it's a tradition apparently. So now it's been three years that I've been giving them socks, so I guess it's my tradition with the kids. <laughs> we'll see how long we can carry that though. <laughs> uh, I don't like to commit to things like that because then it puts pressure on me and somehow it takes, uh, you know, it takes some of the joy out of it when you have to do something and you don't do it out of wanting to do it but more out of the fact that you have to do it i don't know my my brain works like that so here is the second pair of socks and i'm showing it to you upside down here you go this is a pair of socks for my daughter and uh she loves ankle socks so i made her the pattern or i followed the pattern very loosely just to start off really uh from the rose city rollers and uh, I used a, I used the Fish Lips Kiss heel, my favorite heel. It's my go-to heel, I should say. I I would like to try different heels, um, just to sort of uh, have um, more than one to go to. Uh, but I need to find things that flow for me. Um, so yes, this is one. And uh, the yarn is some leftover yarn from a sock I had done before and it's the Manuka Blossom by um, Woolberry Fiber Co. And I like the yarn. It's it's very it's very much my colors. <laughs> so those are it and uh, those are my finished objects. I am really glad that I got it done because I was um, I'll, I'll tell you moving on to works in progress. I'll tell you what has been happening. So um, this is also going to be a project that I would have shared on Free Up My Needles. And uh, what that is, is, you know, show you the languishing work in progress and then uh, decide on whether I want to uh, finish it or frog it. And I, the, the project that I have with me is this let me try and get it out without 
dropping everything is this okay so i'll show you the bag that it's in it's one of my christmas bags but here is my work in progress and this is my uh, granny stripe blanket you have seen me show this a lot uh, a few times before it's a crochet project oh so i'm hitting like three uh <laughs> three things with this pattern because i mean with this project because this is my work in progress it's also not knitting it's crochet and uh then it's also one of the projects that would have come up with free my needles so this is my um, crochet blanket. It's my granny stripe blanket and a stripe blanket. And I believe the pattern is by Attic24. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, and what it is, is to be able to just put in little or as much as yarn you, as you like and uh, knit up these stripes. Uh, and I've just, you've probably seen it before and it was a lot longer. So it was almost double this uh, length. Well, not double, but a little bit more maybe. And I uh, lost love with it. Oh, so I had given it to my mom. She hasn't uh, crocheted or knit in a few years. So not as often, but she does know how to. And so I'd given it to her and uh, said, maybe this is something you'd like to work on because it's easy enough. And somehow, while she was knitting it, um, she had ended up dropping um, stitches, not dropping, but decreasing. The edges were going in like this, and I didn't know how to bring it back, and I was thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to unravel everything and start over. I don't know how to do it. And then I just bit the bullet, and I just unraveled all of it, and I wound up the yarn so i had this magic ball it's not just white it's got all the colors in between um and i can show you a little bit now it's going in sort of a little bit here you can see but i think with a little bit of blocking it will it won't matter because um i went down to here uh, because the the count, the number of stitches was correct up until that point. But uh, clearly you can see that the gauge had changed because it was me and my mom. And my mom uh, is a lot tighter with her crocheting than me. So it sort of went in a little bit. So I took it up from there and I, then I just started crocheting again. So it's come out a little bit. So now the edges match at least <laughs> it's just that little point where it goes in and it shouldn't matter so now we're back to the correct count and um, it is 300 and oh, I forgot 300 and something but but I can tell you these little um, clusters there are 101 of them going all the way across and I finish with a uh, uh, US term double crochet at the end. So these are all double crochet that I've worked. Um, yes. And uh, that is my, that has been my work in progress over the last three weeks. Well, apart from finishing up the socks. And once I ripped back, I was just, I've just been enjoying working a stripe here and there whenever I got to time. And I really want to um, uh, finish the, the magic ball that I've uh, wound. I, I can't show it to you. I'm showing you an empty hand right now because I dropped the ball. <laughs> and um, so, yes, I have really, really been enjoying working on this. I had planned to work on a project. So last, last time I showed you this bag and I showed you that I had the project ready. It's these uh, lovely festive socks. It's called the Yuletide Cheer Socks by Tracy. Um, and if you're watching Tracy, it is a lovely pattern uh, that I want to knit myself for Christmas. So I wanted to, um, it is a free pattern. She's also offering it for free. So if you haven't picked it up, go go check it out. It's a, it's col it's got color work, which I am loving at the moment. Uh, just, you know, color work of all kinds, really. So um, I'm going to be knitting that pair of socks. This is the yarn that I had planned for 
uh, this sock uh, because I wanted to use the same colors that she had there uh, in my pair of socks as well. Uh, but I have to say that I didn't quite enjoy knitting with it. I mean, it worked uh, really well for the heels and toes, but I can't see myself knitting a whole pair of socks in this just because uh, I know this yarn has acrylic in it. Um, and I think I would like some wool socks and maybe use it, you know, keep it just to use for uh, heels and toes. I don't know. So I had everything let, ready, but I just wasn't inspired to start. So I am going to order myself some um, Jameson Smith um, yarn. It's either that or Rom Roma. I, I hope I'm saying it right. Roma, um, the sock yarn that they have. I've heard so much about it, and uh, I would really like to try some Norwegian yarn. Um, so yes, I'm gonna get myself the same colors and hopefully, I don't know if it'll be ready for this Christmas, but definitely uh, knitting it up for next Christmas. And I think I will have a few more um, socks that I will knit myself next year. Um, because I'm the one that wears the socks the most. The boys, um, I don't think they appreciate the different designs in socks and you know, the rib socks work fine for them. So um, I am gonna be knitting a few more pairs of socks for myself and maybe my mom. My daughter likes only the ankle socks um, uh, for uh, the festive seasons for next year. So hopefully we'll see. That is one of my goals for 2021. My okay. So moving, moving along to acquisitions, I've had a few lovely packages to open. Um, thank you to those that did send it over. Um, some of them were just, well, all of them have been such a delight to open. Some of them were surprises and I am really grateful for it. Uh, some packages, I like I said, I've, I'm keeping the, those for Christmas to open up. So uh, I will be sharing those with you the next time. But I received this lovely package from my friend uh, Carla from Scotland and we are Instagram buddies. Uh, so we have been exchanging Christmas packages um, over the last two years, maybe two or three years. And this year I received a lovely package and she had this book in there for me. So I'll show you that first before all of the other yarn stuff. I wanted to share it here first before I started to read it and it's just definitely going to be one of my relaxing reads when I get a few days off, uh, hopefully before the end of the year. So it's called uh, The House Without Windows and I read the, the little blurb about it and uh, it seems like a very interesting book to read. So I look forward to doing that over the couple of days when I get some time off. Along with um, that, she had a f quite a few things, like some of the teas I've enjoyed already, and uh, I'm trying to remember all the things. There were quite a few things in that package. It was a beautiful package to receive, and a little notebook that was so, so um, perfect for me, I guess. Uh, it says home is where the yarn is and I love these little, little notebooks because I can stick it into the project bags and then remember to uh, jot down a pattern if it comes, a design if it comes to my mind or something I want to write about the pattern which is really helpful. So thank you, thank you very much Carla. But of course as knitters uh you know the pleasure is in the yarn i'll tell you it is a beautiful skein of yarn from sherry iris i just realized it's upside down there and uh it's on the gilmore girls oh it is uh from pack probably it's called gilmore girls and this is uh lorelei and um just trying to see it's uh, four ply sock weight and it's got 75% so superwash merino and 25% nylon. It is beautiful. The colors are just gorgeous. Thank you very, very much. And matching pair, uh, or not pair, but matching uh, stitch markers and progress keeper. 
beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That was that. And then I also, uh, I have, I'm still waiting for a couple of my um, Etsy package, uh, packages that I had, well, placed orders on Etsy. I'm waiting for those orders to come through. But one that did arrive was um, fairly quickly, actually. I was uh, pretty surprised that it came so quickly. It was by Born Knitting. And this is Lamb's Wool on the colorway Moon Shadow. And I thought it was a very nice neutral color. I wanted to try Lamb's Wool. And I highly recommend this um, maker. Um, she also sent me a little uh, sample of uh, the Lamb's Wool in another color called Asparagus with a little stitch marker. So thank you, Maria, if you're watching. I think, I, yeah, I think it's Maria. Um, yes, so that was a nice package to receive. And I don't know what I'm going to knit with it yet, but I love the feel of it. And I wanted to see how, if it was prickly because, you know, I don't, I don't know a lot of non-superwash yarn, unfortunately, because a lot of the yarn that I use is superwash. And I wanted to try the more rustic yarn, but at the same time, I am a little sensitive um, to it being it scratchy. So I tried this and I, I like I did a rub test on my neck and uh, it seems fine. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out what I can knit with it. Uh, and these are 50 grams each. So I have 100 grams of that and a little bit of a contrast yarn if I want to use that along with it. So if you have any ideas, I'm thinking um, a hat um, or maybe some mittens um, or maybe even a shawl, except that would be around my neck. So I'm not sure about that, but we'll see. So those are my acquisitions. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, those are my acquisitions so far. And I, like I said, I, I, I am waiting on a few packages and I will share that with you the next time. Uh, so can you believe it? Uh, that's it, we're almost done. Um, I hope all of you have been keeping well and uh, it's, I don't know if I can sneak in another um, knit night before the end of the year. I will, I will try. I know uh, those of you who do uh, stick around to the very end uh, have been with me for a very long time and uh, um, maybe you're new. I do appreciate this. I, I this is the little bit of um, my chatter with you and um, so yes do share with me on what what you uh, would like to see in the podcast uh, so thank you for watching I hope you have a wonderful Christmas season ahead and if you celebrate Christmas Merry Christmas I hope to join you for another knit night before the end of the year but if not have a happy new year take care of yourself stay safe and happy knitting. Bye-bye.